I'm Raja, I am um, middle-aged, and I've been doing drag for a very, very long time. And I am part of the Marco Marco family. Marco! I'm being interviewed. <laughs> so I met Marco and Chanel, obviously, during RuPaul's Drag Race. I did a music video. I may have been the first out of the RuPaul's Drag Race girls, the Ru girls, to come out with a single. Immediately, the day after I won, we released the song called Diamond Crown Queen. Now, Please don't, don't get me wrong, my friend Anthony Garza, who, was, who has been in multiple Marco Marco shows, wrote the song. I'd never recorded a song in my life before. It was called Diamond Crown Queen, and I needed clothing. I needed looks. I needed so many looks, and I'll never forget coming to Marco's studio and um, getting to look through his uh, archive of stuff and the things that I was still able to fit into. So we were like, I just, I'll never forget it. It was my first music video and most of the clothing in it was provided by Marco and, um, and our friendship sort of began through that process along with Drag Race. So it's multi-tiered and you know, and it's a ever evolving friendship. We don't see each other quite as often as we'd like, but that's what Geminis do. It's like we connect with each other when we can. You know, I'm glad to be part of this little dysfunctional, but beautiful, beautiful, queer, and uh, diverse family that we are, so. And these two, yeah, these are going home with me. Like, I don't get to wear sexy underwear, sis. Oh, mm. I wasted. Those are from the- uh, Mom. The show in New York. Really? With the ballerinas. But these I'm keeping. Well, See how this happens? Okay, so we're talking about the time that we met. And I think there might be two different stories. Go ahead, your version. You pulled a bunch of clothing for a video. Yes, Diamond Crown Queen. Yes, Diamond mm -hmm. Crown Queen. Back then we had like a huge closet. With yes, so you many did. Yes, you did. Clothing. Just like every piece from like every like thing we'd ever done. Yeah, you kept an archive. I kept a very large archive. It was like as large as this studio is now. Just for that alone. Just for that alone, yeah. We pulled so many cool things for you. We had like some rubber hair. That, like, well, one of the favorite pieces I wore is this white thing that had the shoulders. Oh yeah, it was and, like white bones. And you know what? Music in itself at that time was very like Germanata. Yeah. Everyone was very like little monster. Yes. So it really lent itself to that like feeling of like, yeah. You know what, you guys, me too. I went to RuPaul's Drag Race and I have shoulder pads. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was when like the whole drag thing was crossing into celebrity too. So you guys were really like starting to branch out into new territory and start doing music videos mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know, clothing lines and merchandise and stuff like that. So right. that's really like the beginning of all of that. But I feel like um, in some ways that you, your presence, I never felt like your presence was unfamiliar. I felt like I'd always known you. Yeah. So it was just like, um, well, I, think, I don't know. Is I it is it the me, Gemini vibes or is it, it just always like, Gemini vibes? Always, always, always. I, re I remember when you said that you would do my first fashion show. Mm -hmm. I remember that we all at the studio were like very starstruck. <laughs> like we knew that we had like really like crossed into some territory here. <laughs> there were times when you we, you were a lot more disorganized than I would have liked you to be, <laughs> and I was definitely frustrated. But you know, honestly, you, you kind of let just let that go. Yeah. You let it go. You're like, you know what? My just, sis is just going through it. She has you know, her- I, I, I'm just a boy that can't say no, and by the end of my show, there's 45 bitches there, and I'm making so many pieces, and yeah. I've got six people backstage helping me rhinestone. And it is really like a product of just the way we put those shows together. Yeah. And it's so hard to like... But the Marco Marco aesthetic, aesthetic... You know, the, the, ultimately the Marco Marco aesthetic is to own it. So yeah. whatever he puts it's you true. in, if, even if he it's sews it, even if he sews it on yeah. seconds before you get on the stage, yeah. own it. I mean, this show's always been a place for us to just like party on stage, right? Of course, so, of course. Like, the funniest thing to me that I, that has ever happened to me during a Marco Marco show is watching the panic in Chanel's face <laughs> when I'm screaming at her and just howling. 
the worst obscenities and the fear in her eyes. It's it is. so funny. <laughs> it is one of the highlights of every show. It is one of the highlights. The only one is the approval and love of all of you. That's all I've ever wanted. That's the approval of love. Oh, and she's almost crying. It's the best. I'm gonna give me 10 seconds where nobody yells my name for 10 fucking seconds and then I'll get back to you. The queens have like always shown me tough love. It's why I'm a tough bitch. Shut up, Chanel. Shut up, Chanel. Shut up, Chanel. Raja loves her go go juice. They're just certain queens, you know, like Raja never is sloppy. She's always like together. I was just saying you're the most fiercest walker, so I don't, I'm not worried about how much you consume. Because I said you're kind of a lush. I'm an old pro. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. You are a Russian model. Yes, I am a Russian model. Today we we'll walked the runway for Mark America. Can't wait for the next one. <laughs> um, 2011 is when I was on RuPaul's Drag Race. So, so how many years? Ten years. Ten yeah. Years, yeah. Ten years. That's a solid friendship. Yeah. You know, we've we've uh, we've forgotten many memories together. <laughs> While we were having While them. We were having yeah. Them. <laughs> totally. Name some of the cities you guys have been to together. Oh my god, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. I'll never go to Philadelphia with you ever again. That was a tough trip. <laughs> we, I think we missed our flights. You no, missed you. your flight. No, you missed oh, your flight. You. Put your hand down. Put your finger down. One of us missed our flight, so we ended up, uh, we ended up sleeping at, we, we like met some kids and ended up sleeping at their house. Yeah, my friends, my very hot friends. They were so, very hot. Yeah, it was like, it was fine. We were, we're always fine. Yeah. Uh, well, we've been in New York together. Mm -hmm. Miami. Miami. Miami was one of my one of my Miami was one of my favorites for sure. God, I miss traveling so much. Wow, we've done a lot. Too well, so many more. Too so many more. Too so many more. Cheers. Let's Truthfully. go drink and smoke cigarettes. Let's go. <laughs> Where's my cup? Oh, yeah. And cup. That's a good show. Where's my cup? Hmm.